This webinar, we're going to study double declining balance method of depreciation. We're going to show you how to compute and record double declining balance method, and then we're going to contrast it with the straight line method. This is the second in a series that explains the four of the methods for recording depreciation, and then the fifth and sixth are going to record disposals and changes in estimates. This particular webinar assumes you have already mastered the straight line method. We're going to talk about what is accelerated depreciation and how does it work, then how do you calculate the double declining method, and then we'll do some practice problems. What is accelerated depreciation? Accelerated depreciation expense means that the expense is larger in the earlier years and smaller in the later years. The expense is going to start off high and drop to a smaller amount over time. Let's get a visual on what this might look like. Here's an asset that costs $32,000 and we're uh, depreciating it using an accelerated method. So the change from year to year is, gets smaller and smaller as the asset ages. You can see here that in year one, the expense was 16,000, but in year two, it was half that, eight, because you can see that the accumulated depreciation from year one to year two grew only by the 8,000. There are two ways to view the double declining balance formula. The top one, book value times two over the useful life, is the one that I like to use. It's the simplest. Many textbooks, however, use the second one, which is book value times the depreciation rate. The depreciation rate is two divided by useful life. So you can calculate, it's usually a percent. They usually convert two divided by the useful life into a percent, and that is the rate. But it's not necessary to convert it to a percent to get the correct dollar amount. So here we have an asset, $32,000 cost. It's expected to last four years with a salvage of $2,000. Now notice in the formula above, where's salvage? Book value is what? Cost minus accumulated depreciation. Hmm, no salvage in that. There is no salvage. You're going to ignore salvage until very late in the asset's life. You will stop depreciating it when you reach salvage, but that is something that happens very late in the asset's life. So that is something to remember, a common misconception. For a straight line, you use the salvage, but for a double declining balance, you ignore it until the last year of its life. So let's do the calculation. So as you can see, the accumulated depreciation grows each year by the expense, but that expense varies over time. It starts out large, then it gets smaller and smaller. That's an accelerated method of depreciation. 